sure is bright today. I need my glasses. Tara Crow has the right idea about soaking up the sun, though. Being out in the sun on a beautiful day is just so wonderful. I mean, it's something we kind of take for granted since it does its own thing every day. But the sun really is interesting. It's actually a star. Yeah, like the ones you see in the sky, but only a little closer to us. In fact, it's the closest star to our planet, Earth. You might think this is crazy, but the Earth just circles around and around and around this big old star. Yeah, the sun. Why don't we check in with Michael and he'll give you some more facts about the sun. Mercury, Jupiter, Neptune, Mars. Believe it or not, I'm not talking about the Greek or Roman gods. I'm talking about our planet. And yes, our planets were actually named after Greek and Roman gods. But I digress. The sun, or soul in Greek Roman, is actually a medium-sized star that is 4.6 billion years old. 4.6 billion? That number's too big. Here are some FCAT words that can help you out with the sun and planets. Cause and effect. Cause is why, the effect is the result. Remember, cause is whenever you hear the word because in a sentence. For example, because the sun rises, the effect is that it gives off light. Because the sun sets, the effect is that it is dark. If you're worrying about the extra weight of the holidays, be glad there isn't a scale in the sun. If you weighed 150 pounds on Earth, it would be 4,200 pounds on the sun. Now back to those planets. We circle around the sun in the same direction, counterclockwise. I guess I'll go in the direction of the shade and relax. Now back to you, Tana. Hey Otters, I'm here with Miss Campbell, and she's gonna tell us what the sun does to your skin outside. Miss Campbell, how early should you start using sunscreen? From your earliest sun exposure. As a newborn, if you're out in the sun, we should cover up and use sunscreen to protect us from the sun. Since I'm from Brazil, I'm a lot tanner than other people, but do I still need to use sunscreen? Yes, absolutely you do, because the UVA and UVB rays from the sun can cause skin damage no matter how dark your skin is. How often sir, should you use it? There are a lot of rules that people don't understand concerning sunscreen. You should apply it 20 to 30 minutes before you even go out in the sun, and then you have to reapply at least every two hours or if you go swimming, get hot or sweaty, towel dry, all of those are reasons to reapply. If you don't apply it the right way, it doesn't protect you. What level of sunscreen should you use? We recommend nothing less than 30 because that gives you a little bit longer protection in the sun. And you can use any kind that you like, that you're comfortable with, but we usually recommend lotion because it goes further, lasts longer. Everyone wants to look healthy, go on tanning beds, is that recommended? Well, we think that we look healthy with a tan, but what we actually are seeing is damaged skin, and you may not see it right away. It may take 20 or 30 years before you see it. And those tanning beds, mm, that's a no-no. There is a 75% higher risk of having melanoma if you use a tanning bed. Thank you, Ms. Campbell. I learned a lot, and I bet our students did too. I wish we had something to do today. I know. I wish it wasn't raining. I have the perfect thing for us to do today. You want to come see? Yes. It's a special day. We're here for you. I'm thing one, and I'm thing two. It's a birthday party <gasps> for dear Dr. Seuss. Let's break out the cake and lots of fruit juice. A game or two. <laughs> and a party hat. I will get this, and I'll get that. All across America, we make this day great. We read and we read and we read until late. Have you ever read? Yes, reading I am. What are you reading? Why, it's green eggs and ham. If rhyming like this is rather new to you, just think if you lived in Whoville a moment or two. 
Hello, everybody. This is Willie at the beach working hard. <laughs> Your weather forecast. Yes, indeed. There is a cold front coming through the south. It's going to bring severe weather to the Louisiana and Mississippi before it reaches us with cold weather here in Winter Haven. <sighs> For today, will be only 67 degrees and there there will be a low 49. No fear, my friends. It's going to warm up for start to spring break. Springtime is right around the corner. As it approaches, there's more and more things to do here at Sheena Lakes. Like there's the field day coming up. Not only are we getting prepared for FCAT, we have the media nights, our field trips, and so many more. Why don't we cruise around campus and see what else is coming up? Good morning, Otters. I'm Emma, and I'm here to celebrate. You know why I'm celebrating? Because our fifth grade E team won first place in the semifinal competition. <laughs> What's E team, you ask? E team is an economics team where they need to answer questions about math, science, and social studies. They also need to memorize a 20-page glossary. And that's a lot of words, for my opinion. And you know what? The members are amazing, because they worked really, really hard to get this award. The members in E-Team are Jenna Bagby, Shelby Paulson, Summer Snively, Anna Alejo, Carla Vergara, Michelle Bardales, Mateen Farhammer. Thanks to their coaches, Mr. Murphy, Mr. Burson, and Mrs. Schellenberger, they all did an outstanding job. You should congratulate them when you see them around. Well, that's all I have for you today, Otters, and good luck, you team at your next competition. <laughs> we learned a lot about the sun from different experts. Down under, you know what they did to take care of themselves? Slip, slap, slap. Slip on a shirt, slap on a hat, and slap on some sunscreen. Remember, when you're playing outside, soaking up the sun, remember to soak it up safely. Hey, there goes my boat. I gotta go get my life jacket. I don't wanna miss my boat. See you later.